guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be talking to you guys about my personal goals that I have with my BSG and this whole journey that I'm on. So, for starters, my big goal for weight loss is 100 pounds. Um, but I don't look at it as 100 pounds. I look at it in 10 pound increments because I don't know about y'all, but your girl gets discouraged like no other. It's like when you're reading a book and your teacher or whatever, you have a deadline or even like at work, you have a deadline and then you panic and then you don't do as well or you don't get as much accomplished. That's, that's how I get. And so I had to think of a way to make it where I'm gonna accomplish my goal without looking at it as a big number. So I broke it down into 10 pound increments and I'm killing it. I'm so pleased with the way my journey's going. Um, so 100 pounds is my weight loss goal. And then my pant size goal is a size 12. I know a lot of people are like, that's all you wanna be? I, I might get smaller than that, but yeah, that is. I have four children. I have a mother's body, 100%, like, I got hips, I got sway back, I got all of the things. So yeah, a size 12 is perfect for me. Um, yeah, a size 12, like a solid 12, I would be perfectly happy with. Of course, if I get my skin removed and things like that, I'll go down and I could go down further than that anyways, but that's just my goal is a size 12 and to be able to wear like large shirts is my goal, even though I'll probably still buy extra large because I have a really long torso, so I like longer clothes anyways. Now the husky is whining. Ay ay ay. She's just gonna have to whine. Boys, can you put the kitty cat up? Um, so, another goal of mine is exercise to get in a really good exercise pattern and really start to love exercise like I used to and really um, teach my kids to move their bodies as well. Um, your girl struggles with that. So I've always exercised, but never consistently. Um, I'm not a huge gym person. I mean, I was at one point, but I don't feel like I need a gym right away. I feel like just we have a weight bench and things like that here and my goal is just to get a treadmill or a bike or an elliptical or all three would be great in our garage and just work out here at home um right now i'm only walking and dancing and like speed cleaning i know that sounds so silly but i'm only four weeks out and i'm not even really supposed to be exercising yet they said six weeks but i'm going to talk to them uh, my doctor and everybody on Monday and see if I could be moved up because I feel great um, and I think that I could start working out obviously I'm not gonna do like extreme hit workouts or anything like that but I think low impact um, starting to kind of maybe just use resistant bands at first and um, just do like dance cardio and things like that I think um, I think those would be good to start out with and I think that they're gonna allow me to do that starting next week So that that will be exciting, but I won't get the okay until Monday um, And today's Friday so soon <laughs> um, But my goal with that is just to continue to be active and to like once spring hits like be in I To be in enough shape where I can go hike Table Rock Mountain. That is a mountain near me or Mount McLaughlin like there's just so many mountains near me that I use uh, I've only ever hiked Table Rock but um, I've always wanted to hike these other ones and so I really want to be able to hike those especially once the weight's off I want to go hiking I want to just be out with nature more um, yeah so that's a big goal another goal that I have is to eat really clean right now in this stage you kind of can't because you really rely on protein shakes and like these kind of drinks and stuff and so they're processed and it sucks but it's just part of the journey i know that by january i'll be able to eat the way that i want to eat as far as 
how you know I'll be able to choose so we're I want to eat really clean keto is my plan so not a lot of processed foods anymore I really just want to focus on nutrition like I don't know what switched in my head but going to get this surgery and realizing like I have this actually it, what really resonated with me is in this book um, Joyce talks about like you only have one body and you need to treat your body well you need to hydrate it and give it nutrition and like I started thinking about all of these years of like I was so hard on me and she talks about like self-care and putting yourself first because you have to take care of yourself and I just realized like I put myself on the back burner I don't take care of my skin I don't take care of like I mean I brush my teeth but I don't go to the dentist like I should um I don't take care of me the way that I should and my body deserves it. It has blessed me for 30 years. It has kept me going and I've been hard on it. And I want to, now that I'm getting older, I want to take more care, better care of myself. So that is one of my goals is with nutrition is just to really fuel my body for the greater good um, and just really hydrate. I want to get to drinking a gallon of water a day. Right now, you guys, I'm barely hitting my water intake. So a gallon is gonna probably take me a full year to get to, but that's okay. As I just want that goal there in place that I'm gonna start drinking a gallon of water a day and that it becomes a healthy habit for me. Um, that's another goal is just to form really healthy, good habits and to be let those habits go on to my children and get them to live a healthier, more natural life um, with eating and exercise and just being more healthy overall. Um, I come from a very unhealthy family <laughs> and so does my husband really. And so like we grew up poor and so we had to eat the cheap crap in boxes like box pasta and stuff and hamburger helper and all that horrible, horrible stuff for you. And like my husband and I work really hard. We don't have to feed our kids all this junk. Is it convenient? Yeah, and right now especially, yes. But I'm hoping that within the year we all get on board. Um, I would love to be 100% plant-based, but I don't know if that's realistic for my household. <laughs> with my husband he is a meat eater and so are my kids um and i'm i can be uh but i also was a vegetarian for three years so i know that i could easily not eat it uh but this year i really need to focus on protein and things like that and obviously meat's going to give you more protein yes there are other sources of protein through vegetables and lentils and nuts and legumes and all of those things i know um but right now because I with being VSG you have to kind of stick to your plan and whatnot and I did not go over being vegan or vegetarian with them and so that if I do choose to do that that is something I'm gonna have to talk to my nutrition about nutritionist about to get some better advice um, yeah so those are my overall goals for this whole next year or so by like November 2nd I'm hoping that I have lost 100 pounds that I'm exercising regularly, that my nutrition is on point, and that I'm not eating just a bunch of processed crap. Will I eat processed food and stuff? Of course, because I'm human, and I live in 2020, and next year will be 2021, and like everybody eats not the best foods sometimes, and I just want to make it where most of the time I'm making really healthy, delicious choices for myself um, and for my family. And that size 12 pants, and all of those great things and a gallon of water and that's my goal too so i have quite a bit of goals i kind of rambled in this video but y'all know that i'm great for that anyways i hope you guys are all having a blessed and wonderful day and i will talk to you guys soon Bye.